Masks. You can find them in any home. Some are used once a year to scare the neighbors. Some are needed for the occasional chore. Some are applied every other Thursday. Then there's the kind of mask some men wear every day. It's a friendly smile, designed to hide the most wicked of intentions. Hey, MJ. Is your mom home? She's inside talking to Jackson. Really? So, what do you think of Jackson? I like him. He buys me comic books. Yeah, he's a good guy. He was very brave that night during that fire at the nightclub. Does he ever talk about that fire? Or anybody he saw that night? Have the police stopped by to ask him any questions? If they do, would you let me know? Why? Well, I want to make sure they're being nice to our friend Jackson. Because he's such a good guy. It is such a stunning piece. It's simple and elegant, don't you think? I mean, I know it was expensive, but you can't put a price tag on beauty. Am I right? So when Daddy finds out how much I spent, would it be okay if I used you as a human shield? You know, I should really get you tested. Mom. Hey, did you have a fun play date with Heather? She got a canopy bed. I want one. We just bought you a bed. It's not even a year old. I don't like it anymore. I want to sleep under a canopy. Then go move in with Heather, because I'm not getting you one. Why not? We're rich. Who told you that? I heard you telling Aunt Bree, since Daddy got his new job, we're rolling in money. Well, Mommy shouldn't have said that. Just when Aunt Bree started bragging about her new Prada bag, Mommy kind of lost it. Whatever. I want a canopy and you gotta get me one. I don't have to get you anything and stop acting like a spoiled brat. I am not spending a fortune on a bed you don't need. Oh, you can spend millions of dollars on a stupid vase? That vase is not stupid. Is that vase stupid? Okay, you know what? This conversation is over. Go to your room. You too, bobblehead. <laughs>